It has been two years since the start of PGR Global, and you already know there has been some absolute demons being introduced in the story and gameplay. But among all of them, there have been six that have been so crazy, they strike the fear into the player base's heart. They are the Sinister Six. And today, we're gonna talk about them. So let's get straight to it. Naturally, we had to start with the man of the hour, Radiant Archer. Wait, no, Trailblazer. I didn't even know they had a Star Rail collab. But anyway, this man easily joins the ranks of the Sinister Six for literally one reason alone. This man is the definition of built differently. If you've been sleeping under the fattest rock lately, he's literally known for not giving a fuck about what you're doing. You're using an iframe or animation lock? Fuck you. You're in the middle of your combo? We even gave you permission to attack, cause it's obviously not him. Not even Chong Yu can catch a break in a hand to hand combat, and that's his thing. Bro's even busting his way out of Liv's domain expansion like. No, wait, that's a spoiler. Anyway, I think I made my point clear on why he's in the six. But of course, he pales in comparison to the next person in the group. Y'all might be asking right now, Matt, why is Terrapod on the list? And my answer would be, why wouldn't he be? Terra, the Soul Stealer Pod, is easily one of the most powerful beings in the PGR verse. Alone, he's a monster, and the fact he managed to shift himself from a boss to an elite level mob is actually crazy. You see, the reason why Terrapod allowed himself to be an elite mod is simply because more of them can be in the same fight. Slap at least three together, and that's where the fun really begins. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the last thing people see as a battle stage. Just look at his face. But you know, despite all that, he's still a low rank since he doesn't crave violence as much as the others. So let me introduce you to a person that literally exists to harm others. Gabriel. Oh man, where do I even start with him? This man is literally hate incarnate. Like, this man feels like he's only born to hate. You can't be happy if he's not happy. And on the off chance he is happy, you still can't be happy. I won't lie though, he is kinda based. We meet this man in chapter 9, and he got Selena and blocked Lee's shots. But you know, it doesn't end here because he takes this level of trolling further. Because he calls Selena an entree and proceeds to yeet her into the red tide. And I'm not even gonna lie, I would never take that level of disrespect. Selena fans, how'd your waifu get dry age and sous vide like that? But this isn't a Selena hate video, so I'm gonna let this slide. For now. Gabriel got a bunch of other stuff on his track record, including treason, but none of these will get him any higher on the ranks because he couldn't beat the case. Well, not like he could anyway. Because the next member of the Sinister Six is literally a stage that inflicts terror to the hearts of veteran PGR players. Introducing the third spot of the Six. The 5A, the Royal Guard stage, the stage with the pole bitch, it got many names. This stage has had people stuck for ages. It was so hard, people had to make guide videos on how to beat this Royal Guard. You might think I'm memeing, but nah, look it up bruh. If you're wondering why this stage was so difficult, it was something about having skill issue and not knowing how basic mechanics works. I don't know, wish I could tell you, but like, I kind of completed it first attempt, so I wouldn't really know. But to the people that got stuck on the stage, I got some good advice for you. Just dodge. While we are here, I would like to mention the A-Life stage, as it is the other stage that CCs had to get involved in, and some couldn't even beat. But the only difference is that that stage was supposed to be challenging. But you know, there was one member of the six that is an entire anomaly, even to the other players. Introducing the monthly pass C. I guess for the new people, I'll have to explain 
why a thing that isn't even a mob is the second spot, while all the other veteran players are trembling in fear right now. You see, Monthly Pass C isn't a thing for other client. It isn't in CN, JP, or even Korean servers. This, wait, I, I'm gonna need some very dark music for this. <clears throat> this anomaly was born from the negative energy of not having a hundred cents more. A tragedy so big it made the entire earth stop moving for a moment and yeah, no, I don't even know where I was going with this. All I do know is that the events that happened around release was literally the dumbest thing to have ever happened. If you want to know more about it, you should have one of your day one player friends so they can explain the very traumatic events that happen. Anyway, let's move on to the last one, shall we? Okay, hear me out. It was already quite obvious that Alva was going to be on the list somewhere. And let's be honest, she's probably the most qualified to have the number one spot. You know she's a threat in Babylonia, when everyone avoids her like she's Minato in the second Great Ninja War. I even managed to get the list of the charges this woman has. <clears throat> The list goes on and on, and you guys know I could talk about this all day. So here's a video going in depth about how much a demon alpha is. And that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for the thousand subs. I'll see you in the next video.